Savage, this has been more helpful than the tournament ever was. I'm glad if I can help. Number one, destroy any two towers to win. Number two, destroying a tower reveals the engine which can also be destroyed to win. Double click any card for description of its keywords. Cleave, Siege, Condemn, it is a Condemn means kill. Cleave was the one that deals to like the adjacent. But you don't need to remember those. You can always just hover over a card. Ready to prove myself. Am I weird for like holding a coffee cup like this? Like here's the mug thing, but then I have it like this. I don't know. What does it matter? I feel like I should be holding it using the handle. Eh. Advanced techniques. So, I'm gonna use this ignite across lanes here. Oh. Arrows next to the mana mean that card can be played. Oh yeah, you see the arrows, like that's the, the next to the number three. Usually improvements can also be played across lanes, but there are other cards that can also be... You always have those indicators then. Yeah, I'm gonna put this here, because why not. So this was the Ogre Magi improvement. You can always double click to see what it does. Okay, one piercing damage. Piercing was the one that doesn't care about armor. So this has one armor, but because it's piercing damage. The damage does not get prevented. There's the shopping phase. We only have one gold. We couldn't buy anything this time. Here's the hero deployment phase. So every game begins with three heroes on, on these lanes. One on each lane. It's called a flop. Yeah, this is like unofficial terms, but most people call it the flop. It comes from the excess holder. So that was the flop. We had a Necrophos, Skyrat Mage, and we also had the the day beyond the flop. You can choose which heroes you have coming out first, but you can choose like, okay, like Necrophos goes on lane one and and like you can't do that. They will go in random three lanes. This is called a turn. So there's on the second round, which is the four mana round, you have one more hero to to deploy. We can we have the Ocre Magi on the turn. We're gonna put it on the left lane so we can cast both black and blue spells on the left. And then we still when he, then we have the river which we had the J Mu in. I got a donation. I'm gonna read that real quick. All right. So he had the initiative. He used his initiative to equip an item. It's the cleave item. Wait, what did cleave do again? You can uh, hover over the item. So this is a, a clicks on the hero, but we, you can like shuffle like this, like go through this. What did Cleave do? When blocked during the combat phase, in addition to battle damage, it deals damage to units neighbors. Oh, I totally didn't remember. But good thing that I could uh, double click to check what it does and hover over. So this takes two damage from the Cleave and this takes two damage from the Cleave. If you're like, wait, why is this taking two damage? You hover over. Oh, minus two. Far fun the Dreamer. Cleave damage. Alright, we're gonna play a dimensional portal. We have a 25% chance to get a multicast here from this. Oh, it happened. Yes, free copy. I got $5 from Emil Salt. What do you think about the deck tracker they added to Artifact? I personally like this. I like it a lot. I think the game is very excellent, uh, like an eSport game, and I think that that's a feature that helps the best players win. I think it's great. So you don't have to like... Because in Draft in particular... Okay, I don't have a strong opinion on the... on Constructed about it, but... In draft, it's pretty common that you are in a situation where um, where you just kind of like, oh, I have to do this, and then you just like, I ha just hope that he doesn't have a card X. Like you just have to like hope and like pray that they don't have a, a particular card, and then it's kind of like you can't know, and it's just like orange. It's kind of like stupid. So I think for uh, for draft, it's excellent because now you can actually see if it's there, and if they have it, it's your own fault that you overcommitted to it. So it puts the like the ball back to the players. So it's like your own fault if you get play if you play into something instead of just like trying to like guess. It it increases the skill by a big amount. I love the deck tracker for for draft. For constructed, I don't really care. Like constructed is gonna be the casual mode. So I I I, I guess some casuals might be mad if they, if they, if like 
their secret tech is getting out or whatever. I, I don't I don't really care. Like maybe I, I think at least seeing your own own deck is good there. Okay, I will not be answering more of these questions right now because we are doing the tutorial. This is going on YouTube. So after I'm done with the tutorial, then we can talk about this stuff more. It's a, it's a reasonable question. Thank you, Emil. But uh, I will uh, be addressing similar questions a little bit uh, at a later time. If there are more. Alright, this is the hero deployment. In the shopping phase I bought a short sword. <clears throat> Another ignite, very cool. Mystic flare, mystic flare is the signature card of the of the sky rat mage, which is actually in the dumpster right now. Um, there's no limit to the number of units in a lane. Cool. I'll tear them I'm gonna put the sword here so we get this trade off. Because that had five, and we were only dealing three to it. I will not leave the battlefield. This is an improvement. I could have casted this across lanes too. Uh, sometimes it's better to like not cast the golden gold mine on a on a lane with a red hero, and you can instead like. But he, red hero is here too. Because red, the card that destroys these improvements is a red card. So. All right, that's called an upkeep kill. It's also an un unofficial term, but uh, people call it the upkeep kill. Which is the, you kill a hero in the beginning of the round. This is very beneficial. You wanna set up these upkeep kills. This puts you in a good spot because the hero is effectively gone for two rounds then. Normally when a hero dies, it's gone for the next round. But now, um, for this round, the hero was effectively, even though it was there, it was going to die. The hero was effectively gone for this round too. So it was gone for this round and it will be gone for the next round. So, if you have a chance to set up those upkeep kills, you should. That's what you want to be doing. Uh, ways to set up upkeep kill are, for example, the Ignite and some similar effects like March of the Machines, which is a black card that has a bit of a similar effect. And uh, there's also, uh, uh, if you're playing the hero called Viper, the Viper signature card is a, is a, like a, places a damage over time effect on a, on a, on a target. So that can also be easy to, or a good card to get the upkeep kills with. Wait, what did Mystic Flare do? Oh, let's hover over. Deal 20, 12 damage evenly divided among a unit and its allied neighbors. No limit to the cards in hand. We can use this, once again, use the mouse wheel, or you can just like hold down the left button and you can scroll like this. We're gonna use the active ability on this Skybrat Mage now. It's glowing because it's ready. It has a two-turn cooldown. You can see the number two here. There's different cooldowns on different hero abilities, but this one has two-turn cooldown. We can use it now. We will not be able to use it next turn, but then we can use it again on the following turn. All right, so our hero is about to die. Looks like the Mystic Flare will not be powerful enough to take out that uh, that ogre here because it would deal uh, it would deal six damage to each um, each of these if I attack, if I put it here because there's two targets uh, next to each other. It would be six each. It's divided evenly. If there was a creep here too, it would be four each. If I target this, uh, this is minus two armor, so this would actually take eight damage. But that's not beneficial right now because it already dies to one damage. Instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cast this lightning strike to deal six damage to the enemy tower. To put the tower at seven life, and we are dealing ten to it. So while well, this hero might die, I can also save it with this plus eight health. But I actually want it to die, so we can put it elsewhere. We don't need it here anymore. I'm just gonna let it die. We got the first tower. Yes. So now we need to get another tower on middle or, or right lane. My One of these towers. Or the 80 here to win. Alright, here we can only cast black cards. Uh, this hero I want to leave, because I want to fight for the mid. So I'm gonna put this it's item on it. Handy. That's my first action. Equipped hero has plus 8 health, so now it's it gonna leave. I'm also gonna give it an armor. I made a lot of enemies. This gives it plus one armor. There are three item slots. You can have one attack item, which is all the weapons, all the swords and stuff. It's this uh, with the with the cross thing. And then you have a uh, one armor slot here, which is the shield logo. 
uh, which usually generally give armor plus armor, which is the damage uh, reduce uh, from any source of damage. And then you have a health item uh, on the, the last slot. There are some basic health items that are cheap, and then there's ones with, with like active abilities too. The, the armor and the attack items, swords, can also have active abilities. These particular ones do not have an active ability. So armor reduces incoming damage by one. Um, this attacking hero uh, has the barbed mail, which gives it plus two retaliate. Retaliate means... Oh, what did it do again? Let's see what retaliate does. When attack during a battle, even outside of combat phase, deal that much extra damage. So it deals two extra damage. However, retaliate damage is cal calculated separately. So this hero will be dealing four damage to this, and then the retaliate effect will be dealing two damage to this. Um, the one armor will reduce the, tr the incoming four down to three, and the retaliate damage from two to one. So it kind of like double dips there. So it, this will uh, the one armor will reduce two damage because it reduces the the retaliate damage and the combat damage. And uh, you can also see the abilities here, by the way. In these indicators. So a few pointers that I wanted to make. <laughs> Thank you for that. A few more pointers that I wanted to make here is that uh, you see these thorns on the sides. These indicate the, the retaliate. So it's, it makes it uh, harder to forget that if, if there's some kind of special effects. You see these cards has those like spikes on the sides. The spikes on the side mean uh, mean retaliate. Uh, this one with the side small spine arrows in the you see the arrows. This indicates the direction of the of the combat damage that was uh, determined by the arrows that get dealt. Uh, you see these normal arrows. This one has those small side arrows. That means cleave. So this one indicates uh, this special arrow here indicates cleave. Do we have anything else here? Everything always they have those indicators. Uh, all the like those uh, effects. All right. So I casted this hard stopper aura on this one. So now you get this symbol here next to the. To the continuous hero ability. So the continuous uh, ability, like you see this, like Lycan had the plus two attack and Sven had the cleave. So when you play your special modifier, it goes next to the hero ability. Th this is kind of poop, by the way. Deal plus two damage when attacking hero towers. This is the basic hero of black. Um, so it, it goes here. We now have a heart stopper aura. Deal two piercing damage to this hero's enemy neighbors before the action phase. So this is another way to get those juicy upkeep kills, by the way, if you're going for it. It won't happen here, but it, it, uh, it's another way to potentially get those. It, the upkeep kill thing is a little bit of an adv advanced strategy, so I wouldn't worry about it too much if you're just starting out. Don't worry about that. But it's something that will uh, happen fa fairly like frequently in, uh, in more advanced games between good players. Oh my god, Fatal is one, one month from four years. That's incredible. Thank you so much, dude. I just want to say that again. Thanks to everybody else, too. 23 months for good tilt. That's a long time as well. Whew. Alright, so we already won the left lane. We took the 40 and I'm not gonna go for 80. So we're gonna go either on right lane or the mid lane. I could put the blue in the mid and the black to the right, maybe. So then we can have access to both blue and black spells in both lanes. Yokas! MRM, thank you for the sub. Welcome. How long till tutorial finished? Uh, I am unsure how long this goes. I can speed it up a little. I don't want to be like repeating myself, so... We can speed it up a little. I'll... I'll uh... I probably mentioned most of these things uh, that are, are here now. So here we go again. Before the action phase that dealt damage and also the heart stopper hour dealt damage. And now we go for the mystic flare. So if I target it here it deals 6 damage to each. If I put it on the middle one it deals 4 damage to all 3. Sure. That is reduced by armor. So it only dealt the three to the middle guy, but it was still enough. Okay. So I'm gonna healing solve this heal for six. So it doesn't die. The sword on this. So we set up the upkeep kill with the heart stopper aura. Now this is an upkeep kill spot. We deal 11 damage to this, so it will go down to two. And in the beginning of the next round on the middle lane, the heart stopper aura will deal two piercing damage. So this will die next turn. So this is like. 
Mm. That's like right on the money. This is what you want to do. It's better to kill it like that. The downside of getting the upkeep kill is that you won't have the gold available to you. I have no uh, if, if you wanted to like buy a particular item the next round. So I will not have that gold. They won't feel a thing. So sometimes it could be better to not get an upkeep kill if you know that you you have if you're like holding let's say from secret shop you're holding a helm of dominator or something you might want the gold immediately. Helm of dominator is one of the most powerful items in the game. It allows you to mind control a creep from your opponent. All right, we're almost done the right lane. Also the mid, so it doesn't really matter. But right lane is. Uh, even closer to completed. My opponent has the initiative again. There you see it. Initiative. He has it, so he will be the first to act on this lane. And if he chooses not to do anything, he will keep the initiative. Alright, new orders. Use the new orders on the, on the hero. And it is possible to new orders into the tower. New orders uh, allows you to like redirect the arrow. There's a bunch of cards that let you like fix these arrows and choose new combat targets. There's one in blue. Or there's more than one in blue. There's multiple in blue, and then there's I think there's multiple in red as well. All right, so that's an upkeep kill, all right. Uh, looks like we won't get the tower here, no matter what I do. So I don't know. I'm just gonna pass. We'll get it here. So, in the beginning of the action phase, that died. And now we can go for the Mystic player. Deal 12 damage evenly divided among a unit and its allied neighbors. So this one does not have any allied neighbors, so they all all 12 damage will go on it. The Retaliate, it doesn't happen, it's only combat damage. Right, so that's 12. Armor reduces it by 1, but it's still enough. Okay, and we have this button. When you see this button, you just press it. Alright, cool. LOL, your enemy plays like a bot. <laughs> My enemy was a bot. Sweet! Yay! 